I mean, Midwest, man, I mean, we were primarily known as wrestlers and stuff out here, but, you know, I don't know, you showed in your uh, your last fight that, uh, you know, knockout power is the key to winning anything. You know, that was one hell of a knockout you threw on Brad. What, uh, what, what background did you come from? Did you come from a traditional style? Did you wrestle? Did you box as a youth? Or? I started out with Ishmael Karate traditionally. Uh, got a black belt in that. Studied that about 10 years. Um, all of that time also working with boxers and kung fu guys and Japanese jiu-jitsu guys. It wasn't until after I had my first fight, which was an underground fight, bare knuckle fight, that uh, I started working Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Big guy, difference between big Japanese, difference, Japanese big and difference. Brazilian is huge and the guy who the guy who had that event, I started training with him, and that's how I met James. James was at the gym one day. I met with James. James, I've been with James now 11 years. His first student. So you know, myself, guys like you, um, I didn't have the wrestling background. My wrestling began once I met James and you guys. You know, anybody gets on the mat with me, just wrestling, they know that. <laughs> you know, it's come a long way, but my jiu-jitsu is better than my wrestling, but my wrestling's come a long way. You know, and obviously my striking is my... Well, you, you've been training with, uh, I mean, collegiate wrestlers, national champions, uh, you know, I mean, uh, state champion after state champion after state champion, well, I mean, all Americans. Means. I mean, James, for some reason, always finds all these... Right friggin' wrestlers that come in that are just phenomenal guys. I and mean. that's why I don't take it as personal when I get dumped on my head. Because these guys have been doing it straight from the cradle. Yeah. So for them to dump me, it's like, okay, well I stood two seconds longer this time than I did any time else. So, you know, when it happens with them, I'll get with those guys. And my biggest thing is honesty is my policy. I tell my guys, whatever they see me doing, if they don't like, you pull me to the side and straighten it out. I want to figure it out right here on this mat, in this gym, not in the cage. Too late then. Yeah. It's too late then. So, and the guys have been really good working with me. You know, um, I'll take each guy and try to grab a little something from them. Sometimes it's the same things, but one person's uh, explanation may get through to me a little bit easier than somebody else's. Most definitely, most definitely, most definitely. Uh, all right, we're, we're going to wrap it up here. Next fight, Metro Detroit, September 11th. Yep. King of the Cage, Emerald Ballroom. Yep. Defending, once again, the middleweight title in front of the hometown crowd. I can't wait, man. And I'll be there again, throwing the support out. Brandon, Mr. Hunt, King of the Cage Middleweight Champion, here with uh, Michigan uh, MMA Underground. Peace. We out of here.